friends, it's Joanne. How are you today? I am participating in the Let's Get Organized craft room hop and I wanted to give you just a quick little overview of my craft room. It's just a small little spare bedroom in my house and I'll go around really quick. My desk, my computer, my silhouette, my planner, I put this little shelf up there. It holds like washi tape and miscellaneous things. My TV. And this is a little fireplace stand that I got from Wayfair. I love it. I did want to show you these. They're new, so I just thought I'd mention them today. These containers here, they are from the container store. Let me turn it so you can see it really well. Let's see. There you go. They are awesome. I absolutely love them. Let me turn it back around. So they are come in different colors, I believe. I got it in white, and there's this little slide here that you can put, like, a name tag in there if you wanted to. And I also bought another one that I have over here. But I bought these specifically for my planner stickers. These are awesome too. I have a whole video on this. There's a playlist on my channel for craft room organization and tours. And I love this. It's perfect size for the bigger planner stickers. And oops, let me push this back down so I don't lose it. For the planner stickers of like this size. And Live Love Posh is my favorite. So there's that. I'll link those below if you're looking for a container that holds that size of planner stickers. Okay, and we'll come around. Yeah, I have my albums in a bookcase behind that door. Here is my scrap box, which is now called Dream Box, I believe. And I've had this for quite a few years now. And there is my wall it's got shelves with things and that's a dresser which I've mentioned before it was my childhood dresser and I had it my friend paint it white for me so it would match my craft room these are awesome I did a video on those those are from Michaels and paper storage from scrapbook.com these are washi holders and then I got these that and this is one piece. Got those from Amazon and they're perfect for my shimmers paints. I have two of exact same things on each side. Washi, shimmers, shimmers. And also I will mention I am on the shimmers paints design team so if you need anything um, let me know if you have questions. There's lots of shimmer, shimmers, paints, videos on my channel. And if you leave my name in the comment box of your order, you receive a free gift of paint. So don't forget to do that if you need anything. This has all my Bramble Fox, and I got that at TJ Maxx. I think that they are still there, so you could check that out. But today, I'm going to be talking about my carts. Yay! So see that door right there? It's got like my new bow and everything. Let me open it. You can see when you open it, the back of it is a magnetic board and it has my metal dies on it. And it's the same exact thing on that door over there that has the thread and everything. That also opens and has a magnetic board with a lot more metal dies. But I keep one cart behind that door and those are for my planner stickers. I will pull that out of there and show it to you. And then I also have a second cart. I got the one I just showed you. I don't wanna zoom back over there from Joann's. It's supposed to be white, but it's a little bit off-white. I got this one from Michael's and it's pink, so yay pink. So I'm gonna pull both of those out, get those in front of me and I'll show you what's on them, and how I store my items in my carts. Okay, let's talk about my carts. So this is the first cart that I keep behind that door, and it's basically a place for me to keep my Happy Planner stickers, and I have them in these storage totes, and those came from Michaels. I think they're only five, maybe six dollars. They're pretty sturdy. I like them a lot. Um, 
I wish they were more square, but they fit in here perfectly and they ho hold my Happy Planner sticker books like that. And I do have them organized in a way that works for my brain. They're not really alphabetical or anything. They're just like this whole first, se oh, let me move this, this whole first section here is all Disney. And then after that are like my favorite sticker books. And over here are sticker books I use all the time and if I have doubles because some sticker books I totally love so I'll buy two of them. So my doubles are up here and then down here are more Happy Planner sticker books and then these are wrong wrong sticker books for my planner. So it's basically a planner cart. Um, I do like these to store ephemera and everything too. So those are at Michael's again, like I said, on the bottom, there's just bigger things in here that I don't have any place to put. So I just kind of store them in there. Like, um, this one over here has leftover ephemera and things like that from my creative scrapbook design team layouts. That's a Sophie Marie, Sophie, very interested in that cart. And so I have leftover my creative scrapbook down there and some really pretty, there she is, really pretty boxes from Live Love Posh that I just can't get rid of because the boxes are just too pretty. And then I just went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up that paper pad to make Christmas cards. I kind of feel like I want to get it out and show it to you. Sophie has decided to join the party. Very, very worried about what I'm doing. Of course, she has to lay on what I want to show you. But this is super cool. It was only $8.49 at Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby put their Christmas stuff out like immediately at 50% off. So if you're interested in any Christmas scrapbooking or Christmas decorations or anything like that, it's already 50% off. Um, I think I grabbed like three or four things already. But I couldn't leave that here there. It's like an eight and a half by eleven paper pad, which I don't think that's typical, but I love it. So I'm going to every year myself and my cousins get together and we may or may not have a beverage or two and we make Christmas cards together. So look, I'm just gonna stop talking and go through look at that piece. Oh my god. I love that too. Isn't that like the best paper pad? And it was 50% off, $8.49. So it was hardly, like, every time I do this, she jumps. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Look at that one. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that to you. Um, they have really cute paper pads there. Okay, so we're done with this cart. Basically a planner cart. I keep it hidden behind that door because I don't really have any place in my room to put it or I'm not going to trip over it and everything because I keep this cart right here against this and this is where I sit and it's where I film and stuff. Oh, I thought with those flowers up there, I have a lot of people comment about how much they like those and stuff. They're just the silk florals. I don't know what else to call them. You know, the fake flowers. I got them all at Joann's and I always do it with a coupon or when they have a sale. And grab my clearance and stuff too. Pink and white, that's all that is. Okay, guys, cart number two has a ton of stuff on it, and I love it. I keep it right next to me. I'm going to, I think, maybe pull some of it out and show it to you, but I'll just discuss things. Um, the top is kind of boring. My Alta New paintbrushes, I keep them right there. My ATG gun, because it just fits perfectly, and I hide it so it doesn't get any cat fur on it. This is my December daily. Um, I did not finish it from last year, so I keep it like front and center. So if I ever feel like doing anything Christmas, then I'll just grab it super quick and start working on it. And then this is a six by eight album from Simple Stories. I have a video on this too, but I'll grab it super quick and show it to you. There's gonna be glare because this is acetate with sequins. Um, so it's just a six by eight album from Simple Stories. I like it because it's pink, but this has all my stencils. And again, I'm super sorry about that glare, but I have it Bramble Fox stencils and then Hip Kit Club stencils and then Alt to New stencils and then Simple Story stencils. And then the back is just like random like 
Mickey Boo in or Paige Evans or whatever. So it's getting pretty full. I don't think I can get any more in here without it, you know, doing the alligator mouth opening. And I don't particularly care for that. So there is a video on this. It's just a really pretty way to store my stencils. See how thick it is? And then I keep it right next to me. So if I think I need a stencil on my layout, then I can just grab it. And then I keep photos right there that I want to scrapbook next. This one is like full of stuff that I really need. This is the remote control for my TV. And then this is my water bottle. Um, I took my Pandora bracelet off because it clicks on the table while I film and it's kind of annoying. Hand sanitizer. If you don't have hand sanitizer in your craft room cart, you really, really should because um, you know how you get glue on your hands and ATG on your hands and, and then ink or mixed media like shimmers paints or something? Instead of having to get up and go wash your hands, you can use hand sanitizer and it takes all the ink and everything right off your hands. I have rubbing alcohol in case I ever need anything. This is just a spray bottle with like um, Mr. Clean, Clean Freak so I can clean my scrap box tables off. This is Alton New, I don't want to say embossing paste. So if you want to do some embossing through a stencil, I have that there. I'll move that. Then underneath here are two things. This is my pink fresh tray. It holds like, hold on, I don't want to go too fast. It's just a heart, gold heart tray that holds sequins. So if I'm doing a sequin shaker and I need to dump some out and make my own mix, it has a little heart tray in there. And I kept it in the box because these pink fresh boxes are so cool. Then underneath that is, hold on, let me grab it, my Pink Fresh. Um, it's like a stamping block. Um, I, I don't know what else to call it. I know it's got a name, but it's, again, in the super pretty box. Let me try to open it here with one hand. So basically, when you put your stamp on the stamping block down on something, you use this to press down and make sure you, you get all the impression of the stamp on whatever you're working on see so you would put it on top of the stamp block and just use it and press like this to make sure that you get the whole impression and that's really good for um big stamps then the rest of the stuff that's in here are baby wipes to clean my hands the table to assist with mixed media and then i have my creative memories hold on let me get this in a good position in my hand my creative memories photo polishing cloth these are great if you have dust or fingerprints on your photo or if you have something on your hands and you're trying to press your photo down you can press it down with these um i'll put my creative memories website below in case you need anything then the last thing in here is the scraper from scrapbook.com that's really good to like um get adhesive strips when you're making like a little junk journal or mini album or something to adhere those down good so that's what I have on top I'm going to grab these quick because I use these like every single time I'm in here I use the stuff in this all right and then here I'm gonna, probably going to pull one of these out and show them to you but you've seen these before I use these to store my ephemera and stuff but I also use them to store my metal dies. So there's some stamps over here on the left. And then these are all Hip Kit Club metal dies and stamps. And I use both sides. Okay. And I really like this. Um, I don't think it's 100% what I was looking for. But I already had them. So... I just decided to use them. The only reason I don't love it is because they don't stand up straight. And if it's not packed all the way, they slide and don't stand up straight. And I, this button that you use to close this, um, they can catch on each other when you're pushing them down. But other than that, this is pretty perfect for me. I have my window open. Sorry about that. 
And then underneath, I have two of these little storage bins. Um, I got them both from Michael's. Michael's is my favorite store for storage and organization items. So I will pull one of those out too, and then I'll pull these out and I will show you those um, from like a top view so we can see those better. Okay, I pulled these out of my car and like I said, these are not my favorite, but I had them and I didn't want to spend money on more things, so I just used what I had. I'll link them below. They are absolutely fabulous for ephemera. I'm talking about these containers. So, um, magnetic sheets and I do it on each side and I'm going to pull out one that only has one thing on it and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so take this out metal die like that and then I take on the back like this so I know what the name of it was and who it was from and I it used my ATG and adhere this to the back side of the magnetic sheet like this just so I know where I got it from okay so I do that um, just in case it gets separated. I mean, I know that these are all Hip Kit Club because this one is only Hip Kit Club. So in the front, I have all these metal dies on both sides. And then I have a couple really big ones from Hip Kit Club that obviously are not gonna fit in that. And I just kind of put them on the side here. And my magnetic boards on my scrap box are pretty full and I'm kind of hip kit club obsessed so I like to keep all that product separate and then in the back of this is hip kit club stamp sets so oops sorry I think I just hit my camera um, stamps and then the packaging and then stamps in the packaging. So I utilize both sides of this so I could get more in here. And like I said, I really like this a lot, but they slide because this is plastic and this is plastic. So if it's not super full, they slide. And then when I go to put something back in, these buttons here that snaps these shut, they could catch on each other if I don't put them back carefully, but I mean, if that's the worst thing that's happening, I guess I'm okay, right? So there's that. This is the container, again, from Michael's. They're pretty deep, so that's good. And then this one is kind of the same thing, except um, my smaller Alt-New stamps are in here. My bigger Alt-New 6x8 stamp sets are over on the white fireplace thing that I showed you earlier in a different kind of container and I did talk about that before so up here are just small like I'll just pull one of these out my alt to new stamp sets and I only have like one in these because I, I want I can look here and if there's a metal die I put it in there too because I don't want to search for the metal dies that go with my stamp set but with the alt to new ones I only put one in because I want to be able to see this and what it's supposed to look like because sometimes these are like layering stamps and then I have miscellaneous stamps in here too that you know aren't from the alt new and then in the back of this I have my um, small embossing folders like that uh, my bigger embossing folders are over in the container on that fireplace that white fireplace fireplace piece of furniture I showed you earlier and then in the back of this I kind of just stuck it in there for some place to keep it but also to keep those straight is a creative memories um, photo organizer so it just has sleeves like that that I can put photos in and then it shuts with this band which I really like and then I put that in there and that keeps these pretty straight okay and on the bottom shelf I keep these organizers which are from Michaels also I'm going to try to show you from the side so you can see how big they are. It's three-tiered, although I don't really think that the tiers are very high. Um, these, I believe, move, but these don't. So you're kind of limited on what you can actually fit in here, but I do like them. 
to keep my miscellaneous things. I'll show you. In the front, I have ribbon, so I can just bend down and grab some ribbon if I wanted to put it on a tag or something. So there's all my ribbons. And then here I have two of these We Are Memory Keeper powder things um, just to take the stick off stickers and stuff so I can audition them. I have Liquitex um, white acrylic. I have Liquitex gesso. And then this is Vicki Booten um, glaze. I have a pack of Distress Crayons. Um, and it really doesn't fit very well in there. I kind of jammed it in there. I have four pops of color from scrapbook.com. I honestly prefer Nuvo drops, but I think that I got these four like for free with a scrapbook.com order. Um, some sticky thumb glue, which I never use, so I need to either use it up or get rid of it, I think. And my glossy accents. Okay, and this one, more ribbons, which I showed you. Ulta new blending brushes. They slide out like this. They're circular and you just blend your ink and then pop it back in there. I have two of those. Um, some sponges for mixed media. Um, I use Scotch Tacky Glue. I really like it a lot. I have this upside down because it's like the end of this bottle. So I turn it upside down for a while and then have the glue go to the bottom and then refill my fine line glue bottle with these. And then here are two backups. Um, this is Vicki Booten Gesso. This is Vicki Booten Glaze in the Rose. And then this is Vicki Booten Glaze in the Gold. And I hardly ever use those. I should get those out too. Um, over here we have some Fun Flock. It is super cool. It's, I don't even know if it's available anymore. It's from Fun Stamps. Um, I can't read it. It's too small. But it's puffy white stuff. So you put glue on something and then sprinkle this on it like it was embossing powder. But then you let it dry and it's really puffy like for Santa's beard or something like that. That's what this would be. And then this is Fun Stamper's Journey Confetti Sparkle. It's just too big to fit anywhere else, so I put it in here. And what else? I haven't talked about this. And then I have my fabric fix for gluing fabric or paper florals. And then I have my undo. This stuff is amazing. If you haven't ever heard of it, it's a clear liquid. And you can use it to remove the adhesive on things. You pour it right on there. I wouldn't pour it on a photo, but you can pour it on paper and it will take up ATG, but it's super awesome for planner stickers. So if you change your mind about where you put your um, boxes or your planner stickers, you can just pour a little bit of this on there and it comes right off and it doesn't ruin the paper. It doesn't ruin the sticker. You just, it takes like seconds to dry again and then all of a sudden in your sticker you can just use it again it's fabulous you can get it on amazon so uh, that's what i have in my carts my friends that is it um these are things that i just want close to me and yeah that's it all right so if you don't have a cart you can get them at many different places joanne's has them michael's has them i like the ones at michael's better um, and you can also get them at other places like Amazon and, oh my gosh, what's the name of that store? Ikea. They, Ikea has tons of different kinds of carts and there's big, huge carts like what, Rascog carts. I think they're Rascog. I don't know what they're called, but those are really nice carts too. And they're longer and you can get more stuff in them. I just don't have room for something like that in this particular craft room. If I did, I would probably buy one of those, but this is what I got. So thank you so much for coming to see me today. I hope you enjoyed um, looking through what I keep in my cart. Um, like and subscribe if you wish. It's a scrapbooking and organization, and sometimes I make cards. And in the description box below is a list of my friends who are also participating in this month's hop. 
and I would really appreciate it if you watched their videos and liked and subscribed to their channels as well. Let me know if you have any questions about anything I talked about today. Um, I'll try to remember to link everything, but if you need a link to anything I discussed, leave me a comment and I'll get it for you. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.